Welcome to Specific Left. Today I'm going to show you how I made this awesomely simple fold down table. We just easily pull off the arms and it's very strong. Put it back, just push them in and fold it down. Let's begin. Now to attach the table to the building we need some kind of a strong surface to put it on. Now we've decided to put it in between these 2x4s right next to one of these seats that I made in a previous video. Now to do that I need a strong base and this 2x4 here would be a great surface to do it on if it wasn't for these lower beams that are already installed. Now I don't want to remove these lower beams because it could weaken the structure of the building so what I'm going to do is put an additional 2x4 right on top of this one and then screw it right into it. I'm also going to do a couple pocket screws right on the edge so that I can connect it to the 4x4s and that double rigidity right there should make this table really strong. Next up was building the tabletop. So I grabbed a quarter inch piece of plywood that we used before as a temporary table and tested it in the space. It fit well and I decided to use it as part of the frame. Next up was preparing all of the cedar fence posts that we had planned to use for the table. Each one had to be planed down slowly to just under a half inch so they would all match in thickness. I then ran all five of them across the jointer to make sure the ends were 90 degrees. I then positioned three pipe clamps, laid out four of the posts, glued the inside edges between them, and carefully clamped them together trying not to indent the wood. I was sure surprised by how beautiful the grain structure became of these fence posts after planing. After giving the cedar some time to dry, I laid out the original plywood piece and coated the top side with a layer of type 3 glue. I then laid the cedar on top of the glue and used a bunch of books to provide the pressure. A little later I noticed the ends did not adhere well, so I added a little more glue and added more weight this time. While the tabletop was drying, I had to make a top section to rest on the top of the wall frame. To do this, I just cut down three more strips of plywood on my table saw and glued them to the last cedar post. The setup will need extra strength so I clamped it very well. Next up was to create the swing arms that support the table when in use. So I cut and attached a small strip of wood that I screwed to the first 2x4 and to the lower beam already on the building. These have to be custom fitted to your build, but mine turned out to be about 20 inches tall and 20 inches wide. I used a combination of pocket screws and wood glue to give this setup as much strength as possible. Because if they crack or flex, the table could fall. Now before the arms could be attached, I added one more board on top of the previous two. This will allow the support arms to pivot using some door hinges. So I leveled the top of the support arms with the top of the first wall support board and screwed two hinges into each side. Both of the arms swung freely and should provide many years of usage. Moving back to the tabletop, I used a straight piece of quarter inch plywood as a guide to trim off both ends with a circular saw. Now for the long sides of the table, I had to use a strip of wall trim instead of the plywood. It is a good idea to have an extra pair of hands to cut this and I was happy to have my father help. I then went back to the last cedar post and trimmed it to length as well. To hold the two sections together, I used a door hinge on the underside outside edges. This will allow the arms to clear the hinges. I then went over all the outside edges with a sander to smooth and remove any rough or sharp pieces. My father then helped me with a quick test fit and everything lined up as planned. I then drilled a pilot hole through the back cedar board in five places and added some two and a half inch screws into each for strength. I then gave it a test fold and it worked great. We then decided to give it a coat of urethane. But before applying, we inserted a piece of wax paper between the two sections to keep them from sticking together. My wife then gave it a thin coating, which made all of the wood grain look amazing. I was quite surprised how much of a difference it really made. The table now looked great and it was very sturdy. Now if you enjoyed this project, make sure you click the like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also, I have some other videos right over here that go along with our backyard upgrades, so make sure you check those out.